Hey guys, I'm Andrew and today I'm at NASA. I have an annual pass and I'm at the Rocket Garden. I'm gonna be here for the whole week and I'll have fun. So, I thought to bring you guys with me, so I'll show you some of the neat stuff. Well, guess what? I found this rover that's made out of Legos. It's totally made out of Legos. And listen to this the model weighs 290 pounds, 130 kilograms. The actual rover weighs 410 pounds, 185 kilograms. It is made of approximately 90,000 Lego elements, requiring 650 man hours to construct a three-month process for the Lego Master Builder team. Whoa, that's amazing. That's the rover. Up and burning. Two, one, zero, and lift off. The final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Ship Atlantis, and this is the one that they remade. And here, let me show you over here. Imagine if you were here, if this was a real thing blasting off, that would be neat. Well, the space shuttle has been over 2.5 million parts. Engineers carefully documented the history of each and every part of the space shuttle. That's very interesting. This is so neat. And especially you have to know what you're doing here. Now I'm doing the robotic arm simulator. So we have kind of Astronauts use the robotic arm to launch satellites, build the space station, and do experiments in space. Can you handle the job? Press the button to continue. Yes, I can. The arm has three joints you can control. The orbiter moves up and down and swings left and right. The unity bends in the middle. The wrist flexes up, down, left, and right. Okay. Well, I'm doing 
doing the landing Minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off on the shoulders of Atlas, the SS Deke Slayton II orbital ATK Cygnus spacecraft soars toward the International Space Station. <laughs> 